Hello Aries, this is Renee and welcome. Aries, this is going to be your reading for the next 48 hours. What's coming near you the next 48 hours? What to expect? If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this reading is for you. So let's jump right in, Aries. Let's get some Oracle cards. Okay, Aries, we have facing fear. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. At the bottom, we have charity, prayer, and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask, and you shall receive. Beautiful. Okay. And get some more messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Next 48 hours. Meditate and contemplate. Yeah, I think we've got that. Spiritual changes are unfolding. Okay. We see meditate and contemplate. Connect with heaven. Yeah, prayer and contemplation. Yeah, okay. Okay. And your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. Sun, moon, and rising. Okay, we have divine timing. So something needs to happen in divine timing. And we have cut the cords. So there, there may be something that, that needs to be released. In your energy at the moment something that may no longer serve you something that isn't for your highest good Aries so we're gonna dive into this to get some more messages for you for the next 48 hours what's going on for Aries the next 48 hours please messages for Aries Sun moon and rising okay we have the ace of Pentacles some kind of breakthrough that you're having. Wow. The Hierophant. And the Two of Swords. Okay, I feel like some kind of offer is being made to you. This is some kind of new beginning. You may be taking a new job or maybe starting a new job. Uh, just getting into the flow of things with this Two of Swords energy. There may be some decisions that you're making at the moment. You know, what to invest in, what to put your energy into. Um, with the Hierophant, I feel like you're kind of standing on your beliefs. You're, you know, being led by your moral compass as to, you know, the destinations that you're going upon. You know, uh, very interesting energy. Okay, with this meditation and contemplation. We have the Justice card. Some kind of karma is happening for you. The Four of Pentacles. Some kind of destiny. Some kind of long-term stability that you're having because of some sort of work that you put in in the past. Something is coming forward for you. I feel like it's very big. And we have the Two of Cups. It may be some kind of union, some kind of partnership. This may be love coming through for you because I feel like you've, you've invested a lot of time and energy in the search for, you know, something that you love, some kind of love situation. It's kind of interesting that we have, you know, we have two twos here. The Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. It's very interesting. With, with Twos, we have something coming together. This is some kind of union. Some kind of... Some kind of choice that needs to be made. Maybe you've been waiting for a choice to be made. But we have the Ace of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like something... Some kind of action that you're going to be taking is going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of love, you know. 
some kind of action that you're taking is bringing you to this this choices that need to be made and I feel like it's something that you've been building up to hmm some kind of skill that you have tell me more for Aries give me more messages for Aries the next 48 hours the Sun oh my gosh on divine timing we have the Sun so I feel like whatever this is, this is bringing you a lot of happiness. This is bringing you a lot of clarity. I feel like you're curious as to how this happiness is going to rain on your life. You know, we have the three of cups. So I feel like there's going to be a need for celebration. There's people around you that are supporting you supporting you on your journey with the two of swords the two of cups to the three of cups i feel like you're going through this growth this progression into something that you may be manifesting some kind of wish fulfillment that has been long long desired that you're finally creating in your life Something that you always possess the power to do. But I feel like this wish for, for fulfillment had to come in its own divine timing. You know, something is going to make you very happy with this Nine of Cups and Sun card. I feel like there's a lot of new beginnings here. There's a lot of new energy. A lot of new journey that's happening for you. You know, I feel like... <laughs> wow this could be some kind of new project new inspiration new mental clarity um, new income but I feel like it's something big Aries tell me more for Aries give me more messages for Aries tell me more about this this reading spirit tell me about the ace of pentacles the hierophant and the two of swords tell me more about this what does Aries need to know? Okay. We have the Queen of Swords. So something is becoming clear. And look at this. We have the Ace of Cups again. Confirmation. Something is going to bring you a lot of happiness. Something is going to bring you a lot of contentment. I feel like your, your cup is going to overflow. This could be new love. This could be new experiences. Standing on your truth. Being self-sufficient, you know, being totally honest with yourself as well as others. So let's take a look. What is this justice card? The four of pentacles and the two of cups. Tell me more about this justice, four of pentacles and two of cups. Okay, the Hermit and the King of Wands. I feel like you've been soul searching. You've been soul searching about the, the, the things that you really desire. The things that you really want to have in your life. You've been really thinking about these things. And I feel like because you're thinking about these things, I feel like that's the reason why we had that magician energy. That's the reason why this is coming into fruition. That's the reason why you are having this inspired thoughts and actions. You know, um, the King of Wands, they're very bold, very courageous, fearless. You know, they're very close to the Emperor. Very powerful. A true leader. So I, I feel like if, you know... The, the King of Wands is right on top of the, the Two of Cups card. So it may be a fire sign that's coming into you. But this may be you, Aries. You are a fire sign as well. This may be your energy, Leo or Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. But I feel like this love is going to bring in a lot of passion. A lot of fire. That spark of inspiration. You know, that chemistry that feels irresistible. 
Beautiful. Okay, let's take a look. Tell me more about the sun, the page of swords, and the three of cups. Tell me more about the sun, page of swords, and three of cups spirit. Okay, we have two cards. Wow. Okay, so we have the Hierophant again. I feel like there's something that you truly believe in. Now, the Hierophant can also be marriage. Maybe you are traditional. Maybe you have traditional thinking. Maybe you want to go through the process a certain way. Um, but you also have the lovers. Look at this. The lovers and the Hierophants. That's marriage. That's something that's leading to marriage. You know, this is your soulmate. This is not just a union, but this is a union made in heaven. Look how that heart is gleaming. There's a sun behind that heart, you know. And we have the sun right here. Something's going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of fulfillment. Look at this. You have the queen of pinnacles at the bottom. So something is bringing you stability. It's bringing you that solid union. You know, and this may be ha this may be happening very soon. You know, the next 48 hours. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy. Okay, we're going to clarify a little bit more. Tell me more for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus, the next 48 hours. What's going on for Sagittarius? Okay, we have the, the Five of Wands. So, something that you've been building upon, you've been building this up. You've been going through the challenges and the obstacles to get to this point you know I feel like you've been doing all the right things that's leading to this new beginning okay we have the ace of swords something is becoming very clear something feels like a gift a gift of honesty, a gift of clarity, mental awareness, you know. So I, I, I feel like this is destiny. <clears throat> okay, what do we have with the Hierophants? And the lovers, please. Give me a message for the Hierophants and the lovers. A message for the Hierophants and the lovers, please. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This union is going to be stable. This is also long-lasting. You know, longevity. Something that is built on solid ground. Very stable and resourceful. The pinnacles are also very loyal and, you know, very resourceful. Okay, we also have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like, you know, there, there may be something that you need to take action on. There may be some kind of action that you need to take in order for this to happen within divine timing. You know, or this could be someone taking action to kind of pursue you. To kind of get your attention. You know, the Knight of Wands is very free-spirited. Very fiery. This could also be going on some kind of adventure, on some kind of journey. So, you may be... Um, invited on a trip, invited to some kind of destination, maybe that you haven't been to before, you know, but I feel like the situation is, <laughs> it's nothing like you've ever expected. Definitely. 
okay so let's get some oracle cards for Aries and we'll close out this reading oracle cards for Aries please Sun Moon and Rising okay we have charity I feel like we've had this earlier connect with heaven ask and you shall receive ask and you shall receive and I feel like that's what you're doing because you're receiving these blessings these blessings are coming forward for you because you asked your angels you've asked the universe you know and we also have increased awareness deep connection trust your inner voice no Okay, let's get another card for Aries. What else do we have for Aries? Sun, Moon, and Rising. And Venus. Next 48 hours. Okay, we have luck is on your side. New Moon and Sagittarius. That may be who you're meeting. You may be meeting a Sagittarius. A personal issue reaches resolution. So it's beautiful. Let's see one more card. What else do we have for Aries, please? What else do we have for Aries? Okay, we have ease and grace. So I feel like because this is happening in divine timing, it feels very easy. It feels like there's a lot of chemistry there. Like, you know, it, it's just easy to fall in, if that makes sense. It's easy to feel like you're totally at home, you know. I, I, I feel like this is, this is most likely your soul partner. Because of the fact that... We have the divine time in the ease and grace, but we also have this prayer and contemplation. So I feel like this is something that's destined to happen, you know, something that was meant to happen, something that is gifted to you because you've asked for it, because you've put that prayer out there, either mentally, spiritually, or through your thoughts and words okay so this is what's happening for you Aries so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your Sun Moon and Rising for more clarity and Aries until your next reading many blessings to you love and light